What if I told you that somewhere deep inside the universe, hidden in the crushing hearts of planets, there exists a form of matter so elusive that no container on Earth could ever hold it, a substance that refuses to melt like ice or metal, slipping past the rules we thought we knew, vanishing into gas before ever becoming liquid. For centuries, liquid carbon was more a myth than reality, a ghost state scientists could only imagine in theory. And yet, in a flash of light lasting just a billionth of a second, researchers have finally caught it, frozen in time by the world's most powerful X-ray laser. The question now is, what secrets will this forbidden liquid reveal? It all started with a simple yet profound question. What happens when carbon, an element so familiar to us, yet so mysterious under extremes, finally becomes liquid? You might assume melting carbon would be easy. Just turn up the heat. But carbon refuses to behave the way most substances do. Instead of melting, it simply jumps from solid to gas under normal pressure, skipping over that liquid phase entirely. Tricky, right? Scientists have long known that carbon holds a secret liquid life only under extraordinary pressures and blistering heat, around 4,500 degrees Celsius, hotter than any other known material can tolerate without vaporizing or crushing out of existence. No classic container could survive those conditions, so capturing carbon's liquid form in a lab had always been a dream out of reach. Then came a breakthrough. In 2023, researchers from the University of Rostock and the Helmholtz Centrum Dresden Rossendorf HZDR, along with a team of international collaborators, turned that dream into reality at the European X-ray Free Electron Laser known as European XFEL, near Hamburg. There, they used a brand new Dipole 100X laser to generate astonishingly powerful pulses that could briefly turn carbon liquid. It sounds like alchemy, yet it's real physics in action. Picture this. An ultra-strong laser pulse hits a chunk of solid carbon. For just a billionth of a second, a nanosecond, it sends shock waves racing through heating and compressing the carbon enough to force it into a liquid form. During that fleeting moment, there's no physical container. And yet, the European XFEL steps in, with its own super-fast X-ray laser, emitting pulses measured in femtoseconds. That's a millionth of a billionth of a second. These X-ray flashes probe the momentary liquid and record how its atoms are arranged, using diffraction patterns much like fingerprinting that rapidly changing structure. This setup, laser-driven compression, plus ultra-fast X-ray probing, was made possible by the Helmholtz International Beam Line for Extreme Fields Consortium, combining the dipole laser from the UK's STFC with the European XFEL's instruments at the High Energy Density Station. The British Science and Technology Facilities Council, STFC, developed the dipole 100X, and it was integrated into the XFEL facility through HIBEF, a rare research partnership spanning nations and institutions. Once the laser fires, the experiment plays out like a high-speed movie. Each fraction of a second liquefaction event is followed by a femtosecond X-ray snapshot. Then it restarts with slightly different timings, pressures, or temperatures. Stitching together these tiny snapshots, the scientists build a frame-by-frame -frame picture, a movie of how carbon transitions from its solid order into that liquid chaos and back again. What they discovered is as fascinating as it sounds. Instead of dissolving into random disorder, the liquid form of carbon retains a diamond-like structure. Each atom holds close to four neighbors, forming a tetrahedral network, reminiscent of water's unique bonding structure. Only this is carbon, forging something that's complex and fluid, yet structured. If you can imagine water's quirky molecular dance, constantly bonding and rebonding, Liquid carbon does something comparable on a whole other level of heat and pressure. Prior to this experiment, theoretical models diverged wildly. Predictions for carbon's melting point varied by up to a factor of two, and scientists couldn't agree on how its structure behaves under those unimaginable conditions. This new work changes that. It provides experimental anchor points, confirming that fourfold coordination is real, that liquid carbon is indeed a complex fluid and delivering more accurate melting temperatures and structural data than ever before. Why does all this matter beyond the wonder of discovery? For one, it helps us understand the hearts of planets. Liquid carbon may exist deep within giant planets, 
like Uranus or Neptune, or even in white dwarf atmospheres. Grasping its behavior under pressure helps refine planetary models and could unlock secrets of planetary formation or magnetic systems. And then there's energy. Carbon is a common ablator material in nuclear fusion experiments, especially in inertial confinement fusion, where diamond-like carbon shells surround fuel pellets. Understanding how carbon behaves under shock, especially when it briefly becomes liquid. This could help design more efficient fusion implosions and push us closer to harnessing fusion power. The UK's Dipole 100X laser continues to shine. Its success at the European XFEL marks only the beginning. STFC is installing this technology at its new Extreme Photonics Application Center, EPAC, in Oxfordshire, expected online by 2026. That means the capability to create and analyze extreme states of carbon, and likely many other elements, will be available closer to home for UK scientists and collaborators. For now, the experiment at European XFEL stands as a milestone. It's proof that science can peer into realms that once seemed impossible. Every snapshot, every diffraction pattern, and every data point is a testament to human ingenuity. Building tools to see what the eye the hand, or traditional instruments could never behold. To sum it up in a more relaxed tone, scientists made carbon liquid, really liquid, without melting it in a pot. They zapped it with lasers, froze that liquid with ultra-fast x-rays, and watched the atomic dance unfold. It looks like carbon mostly keeps its diamond-style dance partners, even in liquid form, something we'd only guessed at before. Now, armed with real data, physicists, Planetary scientists and fusion engineers can all build better models and maybe, just maybe, unlock new technologies or new understandings of worlds beyond our own. And isn't that what good science feels like, taking what's stubbornly hidden and making it part of what we truly know? In the end, what makes this discovery so extraordinary is not just the fact that scientists finally managed to melt carbon into a liquid, but that they did so by rewriting the rules of how experiments can even be done. For the first time, we have a clear window into a state of matter that was, until now, pure theory. By combining the brute force of the Dipole 100X laser with the precision vision of the European XFEL, researchers opened a tiny crack into a world of nanoseconds and billion degree pressures. Through that crack, we glimpse not only liquid carbon, but the way forward for exploring matter at its most extreme. These results sharpen our understanding of planets hint at improvements for nuclear fusion, and prove that science still has the power to surprise us with what it can make visible. For decades, liquid carbon was an impossible dream. Now it's a measured reality. The next steps will tell us just how far this breakthrough can reach, from the lab to the stars.